Hi friends, welcome to Azure content. This is part 16 in Azure Data Factory real-time scenarios playlist. In this video, we are going to learn how to run an inner activity as many times as the difference between two dates. So let's see the requirement in details. So our requirement is that we have to create a pipeline where the inner activity that we specify inside the for each block would run and the number of execution of this inner activity would be equal to the date difference between UTC now and the date that we will be specifying during the runtime in the pipeline parameter. Okay, so suppose today's date, current the current date is, uh, that is the UTC now date is uh, 2022-10-21. Okay, this is the current date. So if I specify 2022, to 10 20 that means 20 october then the date difference would be one day right if you if you subtract 21 minus 20 it would be coming as one so since the date difference is one so i want the inner activity to be executed only once okay so similarly if i specify the start date as 19th october and as the current date is 21st october so the date difference would be two okay so the inner activity that is inside the for each should be running twice okay so basically we want the number of execution of the inner activity to be dynamic that would be based on the start date that we will be providing okay so how to do that Let's go to the ADF portal and start creating the pipeline. So here, let me create a new pipeline. And let me use a for each activity. Okay. So we will be writing the condition here in the items inside for each settings. Okay. But first of all, let me create the pipeline parameter called start date. Okay. Start date. Now let me go back to the settings and here inside items we have to write the expression that would be dynamically generating the number of iterations for the inner activity. Okay. So let me add dynamic content here and inside function there is something called range function. Okay. So if I hover on this function it says range function generates an array of integer starting from a certain number and you define the length of the returned array. So for example, it is saying this, fun this function would return array 3, 4, 5, 6 when we give the expression as range of 3, 4. Okay. So the first parameter is nothing but the starting value. So it will give 3 as the uh, first array of the element and if we specify 4 as the second parameter inside range function it means that the total number of consecutive integers inside that array would be 4 okay so if i provide range of 0 comma 1 then the inner activity will run only once okay let me show you that let me create a dummy inner activity suppose i am creating a wait activity and let me give this uh, as the name called copy data okay just for uh, the demo purpose i'm giving that and here uh, as our range is 0 comma 1 it should only run the uh, inner activity once so let me hit on debug and let me execute it so you can see the inner activity is only called once let it get refreshed so you can see this right so similarly, if I give range of 0, 2, then uh, the copy, uh, the inner activity that is copy data should run twice. Okay. So now we have to uh, give this second value based on the date difference between UTC now and the start date that we have created as the pipeline parameter. Okay. The first uh, parameter that is 0 will be the same, but this would be the date difference between UTC now and the uh, date that we have specified okay that is the start date here so if i search here in the function if there is something uh, to calculate the date difference i don't see anything even if i go uh, manually in the date functions there is nothing uh, that that can give the difference of two dates let me scroll down further uh, there is something called subtract from time but 
if i hover on this you can see the first parameter here we need to pass is the date and the second parameter would should be number of days so if we subtract 1 from 21 october then it will re return 20 october but we cannot get the difference of two dates so for example usually in sql server there is something called date diff function so which gives the difference between two dates if i uh, see the intellisense you can see it is asking for interval which means uh, what is the interval in which you want the date difference is it uh, in number of days or number of hours or number of minutes and then we need to provide starting date and then ending date okay so suppose i want the date difference date difference in terms of number of days okay and for the starting date suppose i am providing 2021-0101 and ending date i am providing 2022-0101 so it should return the number of days between these two dates so let me execute this so you can see between these two dates there are 365 days okay so similarly if i give today's date that is 2022 uh, let me give it here 2022 uh, 10 21 okay and the starting date would be suppose 2022 10 20 that is yesterday's date so let me run this it is giving one as the date difference so in sql server we have this function that we can utilize to calculate the difference between two dates that is date diff okay but in adf we don't have any such function so as a workaround what we can do is we need to use normal math function that is subtract function to subtract the two dates so first of all we need to convert the date into int format okay so in order to do that we will use something called ticks function okay so don't worry about it we will talk about it in details so basically ticks function returns the ticks property value for a specified timestamp a tick is a hundred nanosecond interval okay so before writing the expression here let me uh, create a set variable so that we can use ticks function and show you how it works okay so let me create a dummy variable here let me create var1 as the variable on pipeline level and let me use the same variable here and here in the value let me give ticks of utc now okay so since ticks function returns an integer value and the variable is set as a string so let me convert this as a string okay now let me run only this particular activity let me click on okay yeah so you can see set variable has been executed if i see the output so you can see the utc now uh, value has been converted into some integer value okay so this is how ticks works so if we want to calculate the date difference between two dates then we can use something called ticks function and we can perform the mathematical operation on top of that date values okay so let me delete this variable and from here also let me delete that and inside this and here inside for each let me write down the expression okay so so we need to subtract two values okay so i'm using sub function that is subtract function so we need to subtract utc now and we need to subtract start date that is the pipeline parameter now as we discussed we need to we need to convert these date values into integer so i'm using ticks function let me use it for utc now as well as the start date so ticks of start date so utc now will always return the value in timestamp format so in order to convert it to only date format let me use format date time function okay and here i'll specify the format as yyyy yyyy mm dd okay so we are good here now as we explained about ticks function one tick is equals to 100 nanoseconds okay so 
so in order to convert it to number of hours we need to divide by some integer so let me use division function here and here let me provide uh, the integer that is 36 and then nine zeros because we are converting from 100 nanoseconds to uh, our values okay so here we need to provide nine zeros 36 and then one two three four five six seven eight nine okay so this will convert the uh, nanoseconds into hours and then again to convert it into number of days i am dividing it by 24 okay so here let me provide 24 so our expression is ready now and now let me debug it by providing the value as 2022 10 20 that is yesterday's value okay so let me hit on okay let's wait for the pipeline execution so you can see the inner activity got executed only once so we are good let me again debug the pipeline by providing day before yesterday's date that means 2022 10 19 so let's see let's wait for this to be executed twice so let's wait yeah so you can see the copy data activity got uh, executed twice similarly if i get similarly if i give today's date let me hit on debug and give 2022 10 21 so now the difference between the dates would be zero uh, in terms of number of days so you can see the inner activity did not at all got called okay so this is how we can achieve this requirement by using range function and to convert the date into integer value we have used ticks function okay so that's it for this video guys i hope it would be helpful please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet thank you